In this soccer curve shot tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to curl a football towards the back post. This is an incredible technique that's going to help you score many more goals if you can do it accurately and get a bit of whip and pace on it. I'm going to be showing you what the basic technique looks like, how you can practice it, and also give you a glimpse of what yours can look like once you start to get the hang of it. That's coming up next. Being obsessed with football doesn't mean just playing it. It also means staying up to date on results, transfers, and everything else going on in the world of football. To make sure I never miss out, I use the free app OneFootball. With OneFootball, you can keep up on all the recent football news stories, results, and especially transfer and news rumors. I will be using it extensively during the World Cup to keep up with results and to hear all the news going around. Use the link down below in the description to download One Football now. Let's get into the video. Having the ability to curl the ball with the inside of your foot so that your shot starts away from the goal but spins back towards it is a very valuable skill to have. Mastering soccer curve shot technique will result in more goals for you. Plain and simple. If you can accurately curl the ball into the corner on command, you will make it difficult for any keeper to save your shot. So let's go over the basic technique that goes into doing this effectively. Now, there are many ways to get curl on the ball but I'm going to give you the most basic technique that you can work on. You can always try different techniques at the field to see what you are most comfortable with. Also, learning multiple techniques is only going to help your game further. So how you approach the ball is important, and for most curled shots, you want to approach it at an angle. This will just allow you to cut through the ball or across the ball more easily, and makes it easier for you to get curl or whip or both on the ball. I personally will usually approach the ball at an angle, but sometimes I will approach it a little more dead on depending on what I'm trying to do. However, if I'm trying to get a lot of spin on it and I'm further out away from goal, I almost always approach the ball from an angle. Next, your plant foot. Generally, you want to make sure that your plant foot is aiming slightly away from the back post or wherever you're trying to put the ball. This is because I want the ball to start wide and then whip back in towards the post. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about where you should be striking the ball. I'm going to give you two different ways you can do this. First, if you are looking to get plenty of spin, but maybe not as much whip, you want to cut across the ball towards the middle. Your foot will be almost horizontal when striking the ball. Okay, now if you want to get whip and curl on the ball, you need to approach this slightly different. Yes, you will still have to hit towards the middle of the ball, but this time you will come through it more instead of cutting across it. You also will get more of the ball. I like to hit the ball slightly lower here, but come up and through it. This allows for the ball to not only get side spin, but also that top spin that is going to help the ball whip back down. Now there are fine margins here. If you don't hit the ball correctly when doing this, you will most likely sky it over the bar. However, once you master this technique, it is deadly. I personally believe it is useful to learn both of these techniques, so the more floaty curled shot and the more whipped curled shot. I personally have a very solid ankle when I strike a curled shot, similar to when I hit with my laces. A floppy ankle here will result in less power and less control. You will still lock your ankle, you're just hitting the ball differently. I'll have a card come across showing you how to lock your ankle if you need help. Of course, this technique you'll be locking your ankle more horizontally, opposed to pointing your toe down like you would when you hit the ball with your laces. There are multiple follow throughs you can do with this technique, and to me, it usually depends on the situation. I personally like to keep my plant foot on the ground when curling the ball. 
However, when I go to whip it, I'll sometimes have my plant foot drag along the ground. However, in game situations, you may not always get the perfect conditions. In fact, you usually won't. Sometimes you will be off balance and need to land on your kicking foot, be on the run, or need to do something different. Because of this, it's good to practice your curled shot from a standstill, on the run, and in other situations you'll find yourself in matches. But again, in an ideal situation, I like to keep my foot planted on the ground and try and bend the ball into the corner. Like anything else in football, being able to curl or whip the ball towards the back post takes a lot of practice. The simplest way to work on this is to do what I've been doing in this video and take shot after shot working on this technique. If you don't have access to a goal or a bunch of footballs like I do here, you can always practice this technique against a wall. Just remember that this technique does take a lot of work to get good at. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Check out the other shooting videos I've linked down in the description to help you out even further. I would very much appreciate it if you liked and shared this video. I will put two other videos up on the screen that can help you even further to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. And I will see you in the next video.